We are here with Sam Hedrick, the chef at the Wagon Works Grill, and we're looking at some amazing Ooh. meat. All right, Sam, let's start with the ribs. You can't go wrong there. We have a, a great loin back rib that we dry rub, and we cook low and slow for yeah. about two and a half, three hours at 250 degrees, and then finish them off on the grill like we're doing up here at the Wagon Works Grill. How long do you cook these? You know, we take a, we take a fresh pork butt, uh, rub the whole thing, and then we can slow cook it about that same 250, 13 hours. We let it go all night long. We, oh. put it in, we put it in the evening, we come back in early in the morning, pull it back out, and it's, and it's just fall off fall off the bone tender right Look there. Look at that. Keith, I'm sorry you can't have any of this. I, I can't it's really, reach really across good. the grill here. I would have would snatched you, that one from you. Now, if you told us the injection uh, contents, would, would that require you killing me? We, we share a lot of our techniques and our ways that we do barbecue with all of our guests. That's why we do it out in front of our guests, so they can ask questions and, and just be a part of the process. Look at that. Now, how do you, do you do this in the smoker as well? We do, yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a rub as well. We do a little bit less because chicken, it can dry out really quick. But um, we're able to uh -oh. Ooh, keep it hot for we, you. We don't keep man. it hot for you. I'll, let me help you out there. Ah. We, we, we keep it low and slow again, but not too long because we don't want to dry it out. Because So how long do you do these chickens? About, at, about an hour and a half. At 250? At, at 250. Okay. That's all it takes. And then we, we finish them off on the grill as well to give that extra color, the extra depth of flavor. And what about the wood that you're using in the smoker? So we use 100% hickory. Okay. So we don't we don't have any kind of uh, assistance, no no gas. Yeah. Um, so, um, but it's all 100% hickory wood. We get right up the road about an hour from a, a great guy that, you know, special cuts it just for us. Sam, how many pounds of meat a day on a big day at Silver Dollar City are you putting through those smokers? We can turn out 2,400 pounds of pork butts in any given day. So we can we can handle you know our, our small days, and we can handle our, 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 our days where we have lots of friends and lots of folks that come out here every day to experience what we do. I love the fact that you do it out here where people can come and see yeah. and that you're open about telling us how you do it and what you do. Uh, I think we've had enough instruction. We know how to eat. Yes, we so do. You cook. We eat. That's right. Here at Silver Dollar City at the Wagon Works Grill. Don't miss this. You know what I want to see? What? I wasn't waiting all that this. The yeah. stunt dogs at Red Gold Heritage Hall. They've got oh, yeah. some rescue dogs in here. You want to see it? Yes, I do. I let's Jack go. Russell. Oh, Come on, man. Okay, Come on. Let's do it. This is Chris Perandi. He has some great stunt dogs. They're all rescue dogs, I understand. They are. Great we dogs. get them all from pounds and shelters from across the country, and that's been my mission and passion ever since I started my show uh, back in 1999. In our show, you're going to see dogs that do backflips, they do handstands, they jump rope, they do a lot of cool tricks mm -hmm. and stunts. Um, and we pride ourselves just having fun with our dogs and inspiring people to do more with their dogs mm -hmm. at home, too, because we want them to, to go home and want to teach their dogs something well, new. Well, obviously, you promote dog adoption, too. We do, absolutely. That's our mission, encourage, spay, and neuter. Um, and check the pounds and shelters first because there's some great dogs out there. They'll make great pets for their family and their kids. We'll see some more tricks, but right now I want to find Trey. Trey, where'd you go? Hey, Vinny, do you uh, ever watch the Huckabee show? Is that something you kind of... Oh, you do? That's, that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm just curious, Vinny, I heard that you like to watch the Music City Connection on TV, that you're kind of a fan of ours. Is that true? Or that's... Oh, man, I, I can't tell you how much that means to me. Can I have a hug? Can I have, oh, dude, thanks so much. I better go find Keith, but hey, this dude's the man. This may be my favorite Keith, thing all day. Perundi Super place, Stunt Dogs. I oh, loved gosh, it here man. at Silver Dollar City. If you're, going, if you're here at Silver Dollar City, you come here, you better come to this stunt dog. I this love is your interview with Benny. Did you see that? That dog pays more attention to you than your band does, I'm telling you. You've noticed. Yeah. yeah. I heard you had a little trick of your own. Well, honestly, I'm kind of known as a dog whisperer yeah, now. You I know. can tell that. I ain't going to lie. I think I can probably catch a you know, frisbee better than Benny. I'd That's like to see honestly. it. Let's get a frisbee. Dude, come on. Man. We're gonna find out about that. All right, got big guy, you ready? You wanna go? Come on, get that mouth open. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Benny. Stealing it. What is it gonna be, Benny and the Music City Connection next? What if?
Now, when you come to Silver Dollar City, be sure to see the Stunt Dog Show. They've been on television and film, and you're going to be flat out amazed at their performances. We may even invite them to come visit us in Nashville now that Keith and Trey have the inside track.